Good afternoon everyone, it's Robert back again uh, just with a quick question and review and a couple of lap times on a Scalex Trig Ginetta. Uh, question is really, are any other Scalex Trig super resistant cars any good? And I think I'll answer that in this video by saying yes. Certainly this one is. It's, uh, it's a slightly older car, it's been out two or three years now but uh, it's something I bought so I could uh, have a whiz around the track and not be too bothered if it came off and got damaged but uh, as you can see it's a DPR car so digital plug ready inline motor and nicely detailed car even though it's uh, super resistant it's a nice car uh, it's got front lights as you can see and all in all, not a bad car at all. So I'll just take it round to the start. It gives you a bit of a look at the layout as well. With a nice long back straight. Let's pull it up to the start. As you can see, I've got the Scale Electrics Arc Pro app. So I'll just set it 10 laps. Just start the race if I hit the button and we'll see what we can do with it. Just do a couple of side laps first or maybe one. There's a nice turn of speed, handles all the bends really nicely. I've got mostly R2s on here but just at the end of this straight, there's an R1. Right, let's see what we can do. Goes nicely. Nice turn of speed down that back straight, which is just about 14 foot long that is, so gives you a chance just to let it to open its legs a bit and holds the track really nicely, but it has got quite a strong magnet in it, but on the magnet racer so it's not an issue for me goes nicely though as you can see I am filming and driving at the same time but nice little car and it's great for kids to have a go with and even older kids like myself it's just something you can whiz round and you're not too concerned. It hits the barriers. You're not going to damage anything. Well, that's the 10 laps done. Let's see what we've done. Well, we've done a 7.07 .07 lap, which I know I've, I've beaten that by a good second and a half when I've just been whizzing round. But seven seconds on a lap on a circuit this size isn't too bad at all, I don't think especially seeing as I'm filming as well. So in answer to my question, yes, the super resistant cars are good and uh, well worth looking out for one of these. I shouldn't be looking for another one because my wife has started getting into the hobby as well. So if we can race the same cars against each other, all the better. But if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll be back again soon with another video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.